Welcome to the second of three part series tutorial on the web portal interface. In this session we'll take a look at the search page and how to navigate the various search aspects of the site. As you start in the uh, disclaimer page you'll accept the disclaimer and go to the login page and search. This is a search engine area that's uh, for the free viewer and you'll notice the hyperlinks that are available uh, under these sessions and what is part of the subscription only. Since we've created a username and password in the previous session, we'll add that in here so we can access the full search capabilities. So in this page, let's just go over uh, quickly what is available here. You could search by owner name, parcel, location, legal information, subdivision, neighborhood, and condo, which are a little bit of overlapped in some of these areas, and we'll talk about that uh, a little more extensively. Uh, zoning map which we'll talk about in a sec in the final session and then search by sales and list so let's take a look at Glen owner excuse me search by owner and we'll put in Glen as we search by Glen you'll notice that the filter put brings everything that starts with the name Glen so if we wanted to filter this a little more extensively and only come up with those properties owned by Glen County we'd have to add the Glen County uh, to, the, to the name. Now, less is best in most cases unless you're working with a name that's uh, pretty common in Glen County. Smith, Jones, Glen, obviously. And as we select on this one, you'll come up with everything that's owned by Glen County. Now, the results page is formatted similarly on all the different search engines where you can find the parcel number to the left, the owner name, the address, the legal information, and then finally the map it. The map it is where we'll go in the third session to explore the map interface and this will launch directly to the parcel. But on the left here when you select the parcel number this is where you'll be able to access the property record card. So as we look at the property record card we can explore it a little more in depth of what's available under the subscription viewer. In addition to the owner and parcel information where you'll find the owner, location address, legal description, any class or zoning, you'll find the schools, the commission district it's a part of, its map and block lot which relates to the tax uh, maps that can be found, the paper maps that can be found in the tax commissioners, property assessor's office and GIS departments, its subdivision and neighborhood, and notice how these are different, the subdivision is Sea Palms, the neighborhood is Peninsula Point, and these will relate back to these two uh, recent sales in neighborhood and recent sales in area queries. Its millage rate, tax district, parcel number, and today's date. And below that is the land information, tax year value information, improvement information. This is where if it was a residential or commercial, commercial property, you'd see the expanded information of number of bedrooms, square feet, as well as a building sketch and picture and then sale and miscellaneous improvement information which the sale information would record the sales uh, over the last number of years with deed page and book price and so forth an additional aspect on this page is notice this hyperlink up here next to the subdivision which is the plats if you select the plats the plats are organized by subdivision so rather than having the plat for the particular uh, lift station it's picking up everything in sea palms. We're working to filter this a little better, but at currently all plats are done by the subdivision name. So let's go back to the um, main search page and take a look at location address. Parcel numbers, where if you know the exact parcel number, you'll be able to pull that address similarly. But for location address, let's take a look. This one's a little finicky, so let's uh, take a quick look at this. Let's put in Reynolds. And you'll notice as we put in whoop, Reynolds Street that we are unable to find this uh, address. Now, why does that occur when we know that 1725 Reynolds Street is the Pate building? Well, that's because it breaks up the information by group. So you'll need to break these up individually. And again, less is best. There's not another Reynolds Street. So if you just put Reynolds, you'd effectively find 1725. So as we do the address search under this aspect, 
would come up with the parking lot for the paid building. And again, it's formatted very similarly with the parcel ID to the left, the map to the right, and the legal address and owner name in the middle sections. And again, you'll notice that every one of these pages has an export to CSV, which is an Excel spreadsheet compatible view. So let's take a quick look at that. We'll repeat this on every page, but you'll notice it just comes up with what we've seen with owner and mailing. Let's expose this. It's not its legal address, but its mailing address where if you wanted to contact that owner, it's to this address. So let's return to the search page and take a look at legal information. And we'll just do a uh, wildcard search of lot, lot 21. And you'll notice everything with lot 21 in the first three digits, three uh, uh, spaces comes up from Windsor Park to Fairway Oak. And again, it's formatted the same way with parcel number on the left, map on the right, and the ability to export this to a Excel spreadsheet at the bottom. Notice also the print mailing labels is here, where you can take this list and print a mailing list off of that as well. The mailing list is going to be formatted to Avery uh, uh, files, and you'll ha you'll read the instructions there. It's a number of ways to convert it to a um, to your mailing list, whichever you may be using. All right, let's move down to the neighborhoods and subdivisions, and this is uh, where if we look at the subdivision, you notice that condos are there. But they've also included uh, tracts, estates, so this is all encompassing where you may find large historical land tracts um, and industrial sites and things like that. The subdivision, or the neighborhood rather, has a more traditional neighborhood with including the industrial parks and some condos. And finally the condo, which is really all the common areas in the, in the county. And let's take a look at it. This is the only one that may return your search a little bit differently than the typical search by owner and that uh, spreadsheet look. So you'll see as we pull the condos, it's giving the common area at the top and the individual unit numbers uh, here. There is no map it function because there's no geography for this condo. The geography is the actual common area. So when you select on that, you'll go to the search parcel map, which will take you to that condo. And each one of these parcel maps on their individual condos will take you to that one singular common area. And search by zoning, where the certain zoning codes available in the county are listed, and you can search by individual zoning. Uh, these zoning codes uh, can be defined on the community development page. Search by map, which we'll take a look at in the next lesson, and sales search. This is a pretty dynamic search feature in which you can search by date, price, square footage. Notice the formatting is when you put in that you need to put 01 1999 rather than 1-1999. Sales qualification, qualify or unqualified. An unqualified sales for property appraisal typically are defined by those that uh, a family member to family member, uh, deceased that passes on their property. Those types of things become unqualified sales when they start doing their analysis. Sales type, land only, land with building, building only sales, and then the property types here where you can view residential, commercial, commercial types with a little uh, a closer look. It's the types of commercial, residential, subdivisions, has the list of subdivisions just like in the original search page, and neighborhood. And finally street name and type. Uh, this may be where you may want to say search commercial for Frederica. Uh, you could search Frederica and commercial and come up with those comparisons. The final list is search sales list. Now the sales list, when we take a look at this, is going to give you the same kind of output as the sales query did before. So as we click on April, you'll see how the um, 
tabular look is a little bit different than our search. We've got the parcel number and the sales date and from the parcel number you can launch to any one of these parcels and their property record cards. In addition the sales can be sorted so you can put this from greatest to smallest or vice versa. The location address is listed, its description type, its reason, which these reason codes can be found back at the original page and we'll take a look at that when we return. And then of course the open results in Excel. So as we return to the page uh, here, we can uh, go back to the Glen Home, use the search property appraisal and Glen GIS are the final queries, and let's took it, look, take a look at Glen Home real quick. Back here at the entry page is where some of those uh, information and definitions that we talked about in the sales or can be found in these links. Search takes you back to this page property appraisal to the uh, property appraisals office page where additional information can be found and the Glen County GIS department where uh, public maps can also be found as well as information for contacting. And that concludes our session on the search engine. If you have any questions or any difficulties please feel free to call the Glen County GIS department at 554-7418. Thank you.